Go ahead. On the field, behind home plate. Um, anyway, the original plan for the park called for the bleachers to be in that corner down there where the C's candy sign is. They wanted to do that so that when you were sitting in the stands, you'd be looking at the Bay Bridge. It's right behind there. Uh, but they did wind tunnel studies, and they found that in the summertime, the wind blows predominantly in this direction. So if we had an opening there, the wind would have blown right into the batter's face. We would have had Candlestick Park all over. So they turned the ballpark between the high wall around the corner. That was as far as we could go because that's a shipping channel. Also. We couldn't can't leave the park out any further. So they made us compensate by putting in the 24-foot high wall, which is called the Willie Mays Wall, and up there where it's in Bank of America, 421 feet, third deepest outfield wall in the major leagues. The only ones deeper are at Houston and Florida. Of course, there the air is much thinner because it's water and there's better climate, so this is not a hitter's ballpark. This is a pitcher's ballpark, even though we have that short right field foul pole, and you can tell you're standing here, not a whole lot of foul territory. Yeah. Which normally favors the hitters. But this favors the